Lots of people tend to believe that big progress is made overnight, that it happens from just one miracle and then your life is changed. This couldn't be any farther from the truth. I mean, sure, sometimes one action is all it takes for your life to drastically change for the better. But 99% of the time, that action is a breakthrough from several past built up actions. You aren't going to achieve a Mr. Olympia build from just doing a couple of push ups. But if you relentlessly push your body's limitations, then it is definitely obtainable. Real progress is a journey, and it's time we uncover what it truly looks like. Past actions often appear to make no difference until you pass a certain level and unlock a new stage of success. In the early and middle stages of any ambitious goal, there is usually a time of disappointment in your progress. You expect to make progress in a linear fashion, and it's frustrating how ineffective your efforts can seem. It doesn't feel like you are going anywhere. People make a few small movements, fail to see a tangible result, and burn out. But in order to make a meaningful difference, actions need to persist long enough to get past this stage. Your effort was not wasted. It was just being stored. This is like stacking quarters on top of a paper towel. You keep stacking and stacking quarters to create a mass big enough to break through the paper towel, but it just won't break. Then you put one last quarter on and the paper towel rips open. Being successful requires patience. Change can take years before it happens all at once. And when it does, that's when people will call it an overnight success. I always believe that the best way to achieve anything I wanted in life is to set specific actionable goals. I set goals for the grades I wanted to get, for the number of reps I wanted to rep, for the subscribers I wanted to reach, and I succeeded at a few, but I failed at a lot of them. Eventually, I began to realize that my results had very little to do with the goals I set, and nearly everything to do with the systems I followed. Now what's the difference between systems and goals? Goals are about the results you want to achieve. Systems are about the processes that led to those results. For example, if you are a YouTuber, your goal might be to reach 1 million subscribers. Your systems are how you record videos, write your script, and edit. So if you were to completely ignore your goals and focus only on your systems, would you you still succeed. I think you would. Your goal is to reach 1 million subs, but it would be ridiculous to spend all your time staring at your subscriber count. It's not about perfection. It's about progress. The only way to actually win is to get better every day. Your journey might not be perfect, but it's uniquely yours. If you want better results, then forget about setting goals. Focus on your system instead. So are your goals completely useless? Of course not. Goals are good for directing your path, but systems are best for making progress. When you think of a winner, you may believe their ambitious goals led to their success, while overlooking all of the people who had the same goal and didn't succeed, otherwise known as the losers. Every Olympian wants to win a gold medal, every candidate wants to get the job, and if successful and unsuccessful people share the same goals, then the goal cannot be what differentiates the winners from the losers. So what does? Attitude. When winners fail time and time again, do they sulk? Do they think I'm not good enough? No. No, they do not. Winners are resilient and have a growth mindset geared towards success. They see their failures as opportunities to grow. Winners learn from their experiences, whether positive or negative. These are the type of people that realize they can achieve anything if they put the time in and give it their all. Another difference between the two is responsibility. Losers blame their external circumstances for their problems. They point fingers saying they aren't where they wanna be because of him or her or anybody. You have to understand that the world isn't all sunshine and rainbows. It's a very mean and nasty place. But it ain't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving forward. That's how winning is done. Gotta love Rocky. Winners take up the responsibility for everything they do. And when everything is your responsibility, you can truly change. You will have no excuses. This video was inspired by Atomic Habits. If you haven't read this yet, I recommend you do. It's a great book. Well, I hope you guys get something out of this video. And if you did, please consider subscribing. Anyways, thanks for watching, and I hope you have a focused, happy, and productive day.